Now, the biggest vaccine-related story this week is that Taiwan's Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has passed emergency use authorization for Taiwan's first COVID-19 vaccine. The Central Epidemic Command Center announced on Monday that Taiwan's Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, has granted emergency use authorization, or EUA, for a COVID-19 vaccine produced by Taiwan-based Medigen Vaccine Biologics. The decision was made by a panel of 21 experts who held a vote on whether to approve the vaccine on Sunday. 18 members voted to approve, one opposed, and one asked for more data. The new vaccine will also be reviewed by the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices before it can be added to the national vaccination program. Once it's approved, a small number of doses could be administered starting August. Taiwan's FDA director, Wu Xiumei, said the AstraZeneca vaccine was chosen for comparison with the Medigen vaccine because it was the only vaccine available in Taiwan at the time of testing. The tests found that the geometric mean TIDA, or GMT, level of neutralizing antibodies in participants who got the Medigen vaccine was 3.4 times higher than those who received the AstraZeneca vaccine. The other key result was the vaccine's serial response rate, which is the percentage of people who generate an immune response. That was 95.5 percent, which is higher than the required 50 percent. Wu said the Medigen vaccine is suitable for adults age 20 and older, and each person needs two doses at least 28 days apart. Medigen must also provide a safety report every month and a report on the vaccine's effectiveness after being administered in Taiwan and other countries after one year. Now, what's interesting about the Medigen vaccine is that the technology behind it is totally different from other major vaccines like Pfizer and AstraZeneca. Here's a little refresher course. One type of vaccine uses little fragments of mRNA. That includes the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine and the Moderna vaccine. Another type is viral vector vaccines. That's like AstraZeneca. Then there's the traditional inactivated pathogen vaccines, which include the Chinese vaccines Sinovac and Sinopharm. The fourth type is protein subunit vaccines, which include both the Taiwanese vaccines, Medigen and UBI. Now, in a moment, we're going to talk about how effective these vaccines are. But first, we're going to take a quick dive into the technology with Stash Butler. Protein subunit vaccines take little parts of the virus and use those to trigger immunity. For COVID-19, that means harvesting the spike proteins from the surface of the virus. This kind of vaccine is incapable of causing the disease because the spike proteins on their own can't infect human cells. That means they're very safe. The technology is already well established and scientists have used it to make a highly safe and effective vaccine for hepatitis B. One drawback is that using small parts of the virus rather than the whole thing means sometimes the body doesn't react strongly to the vaccine. That means the immune response is sometimes weaker. Luckily, there's no way around this, which involves adding a thing called an adjuvant to make the immune system respond more strongly. Now, the million dollar question is, How effective are Taiwan's locally developed vaccines? And the short answer is we don't know. And that's because neither one has passed phase three clinical trials. Now, the CECC says that these vaccines are comparable to a similar vaccine, Novavax. The technology is the same. And in phase three trials, Novavax was shown to be 90% effective overall and 100% effective in preventing moderate or severe illness. Now, again, we won't have any data on the effectiveness of the two Taiwanese vaccines until they conduct phase three clinical trials.